Hey everybody, Artem here with a Destiny gameplay video, this time going over the strategy for the Oryx fight. I got some good footage for doing a plate a couple days ago and I thought I would share it. It's a bit of a longer video, I'm going to try to shorten it up near the end, but I'm going to commentate through this starting iteration and it's going to go four or five times through. So, when you're on a plate, well this is luring the thrall first, so luring the thrall, pretty easy. Usually let a Sunsinger or a Titan do it so your hunter can tether. Um, the person luring shoots the thrall so that they get their attention just once, don't kill them, because then you trigger the knights. You get the tether, get the orbs, and all that fun stuff. For when you're on a plate, I'm doing plate one in this. Plate one isn't the worst, isn't the best. Plate two is probably the easiest one because we were actually carrying someone on plate two. They didn't have a sniper at all. They were using a shotgun, so we carried him through that part. So snipe the knights down here and then get set up for it because he's always at the front Toby, for the Toby, first Toby, one. So you'll hear me in the background calling out a bunch of stuff. I really listen to the callouts when I stop commenting over it. Um, so you get up on the plate. If you're plate one, you get up just after the runner. So you'll see me kind of float in the air and watch the runner get up because he's a hunter and then jump on right after him. Immediately drop your ogre. Just I use my touch because I'm confident with it. Pull out the sniper, turn around, look for your knight, take him down just like that. And then Acolyte Eyes and Acolytes go down. You have to kill them because they're pretty much the only thing that can kill you while you're on top of the plate. Centurion, you don't need to worry about their Axion Jet too much. You just kind of look for it, hit it down. Um, our runner called he had it, and then I also reinforced that as a person on the plate just to make sure everyone else on the plates were down. I went and so we had to do five iterations. You guys are going to see five iterations, but someone got didn't get their knight fast enough, so I think... Um, Plate 3 forgot, which is fine, that's why we have callouts. And then 4th knight gets dropped, and then we immediately spin for Oryx. And now, basically how you do a plate. So, your ogre goes down first. You help with the ogre, toss a grenade, use your primary if you want to. You don't have to, tossing a grenade is usually enough. Um, after that, you take out your knight, pretty easy to take out. You'll see in the next few runs the back plates being done well the next run the back plate being done by me and you'll see where to kind of go to get that back plate knight while you're on that platform and then as soon as that knight drops if you're not in danger of dying you want to drop those accolades and accolade eyes right away um, everything else is pretty standard for the oryx fight just since it was challenge mode this week we didn't go detonate our orbs till the very end we managed to succeed as you'll see later on but yeah, that's pretty much all I have as far as the strategy goes for these. And honestly, don't be afraid to use your heavy. That's another big thing. If you're on a plate, you get overwhelmed, just wreck with your heavy. I use a rocket because that's my personal preference. And I'm confident that I won't hit myself most of the time. It's going to bite me in the butt sometime. Here, I'm a warlock, so I took that as a shade. If you're a warlock and a sunsinger as well, that's a great thing to do for your team is to take that shade sword so we don't have to worry about wiping, especially on hard mode. Now, this guide also applies for not hard mode, so normal mode. Um, except you don't have knights, so you just kill your ogre, kill your adds, kind of chill out. If you're on a backplate and you are not the first backplate to be triggered, you're gonna want to kill the adds beside your plate before you snipe your knight because um, I'll show you here uh, kind of what you want to do so we're gonna get up on this back plate here I'm with the runner again because I'm plate number one uh, Oryx will slam and if you have a good partner like I tried to be here I think I got both acolytes but what you want to do is kill your ogre Obviously, I drop my ogre, I immediately spin and get to the side of my plate. Zoom in so I can see the knight's head when he kind of walks up. Take him out. Acolytes spawn in and I drop them for my partner who's going to need to take out this knight, which I also do. I just pull out my sniper. Whiff. Pull out my sniper again. Uh, whiff a little more. You know, no big deal. There we go. And then we run because the acolytes were on me that time and I had myself res ish. So I wasn't too worried. Um, same thing as normal. Drop that nice. big knight okay, drop back, everything else back. make callouts too you'll hear me for the rest of the video make a lot of callouts so don't be afraid to make a lot of callouts they're really 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 helpful good job. good job and yeah 
that's pretty much it. If you want a detailed guide on what kind of loadouts you should use for hard mode, I can do those as well, but this is just mainly how to do a plate. And how to do a plate well, so your team doesn't have to worry about you, and you don't have to worry about dying. Those are the two big things. You can take out everything, not have to be stressed about the night, and you don't even have to worry about dying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, um, talk to me on PlayStation if you want to. I have my PSN on my channel. You know, come say hi. Everything's welcome. Helpful comments are welcome. Hey, if something sucks about my um, setup, let me know. Kind of important, because I want to make good content. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video without me talking over my own commentary. Meow! <laughs> Like this one, where all the bombs should have gone off. But yeah, it started with Atheon. Or so I was told. I... Uh, both knights are down. It started with Atheon. <laughs> oh my god, Division's so bad right now. Oh, it's so buggy. Right here. Rip Oryx's shade number two. He's gonna go front this time. Front left, back left, Toby. Yep, behind me. Instead of beside. Remember, you have to take down two knights, Caitlyn. No. One's up. Like how that ogre melted. <laughs> oh, I love it. There we go. The front is safe for my consumption. Everyone down to the middle. Caitlin, too. I, we can help you with that last night. Don't worry about it. Yep, it's dead. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Okay. Everyone to the front. We gotta do two more rounds still, remember. Not just one. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone hang out in the middle, kill the ads that try to shoot you. <laughs> okay, we're good. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let you know when we're going on to the next shade. <laughs> and tether. I got it, don't worry. Just focus the knights. We're on the shade, by the way. Okay, then you always turn that one. Uh, <laughs> I wish you didn't, but that's okay, because everything dies anyway. Yeah. Watch, keep watching Toby for the throw. They're on the right side. Oh, never mind, you're gone. I'm teleported, I'm last one in. It's down, I got it. Reset. Yep. He's going front right. Tiny, you're across from me at front left. Have you found a pattern? Okay, one is up. First knight's down.
second knight's down. Get to the middle. Tiny, we have nothing left to do at the front. Everyone to look at the back for now. Until we get the last knight down. Everyone look at the... Oh, we're done. Everyone look at Oryx. <laughs> Good show, chaps. One more like that, and then we're going to detonate. Same deal as before with the countdown. It's very obvious. Okay, good. Yep, everyone just chill in the middle. So stay outside that until I say detonate. No, you get um, detonating corrupted light or whatever it's called. So you'll be able to tell and just kind of like move around near the center of them. So where that big black ball like that, that solid ball is. Tether, you know where the solid balls are? Solid balls. <laughs> you're gonna go to the don't I'll tell you where you're gonna go you're gonna go to your plate that you get spawned onto this round like that you are on this round there's that knight down fusion grenades sweet he's slamming good shit Teleported. It's okay. He's dead. Don't worry. <laughs> Last round reset. He... I forget where he goes for this one. I think it's front. Oh, it is back. Back right. So... Toby, you're front right. You're in front of me this time. Remember, Caitlyn, you're taking down two knights. <laughs> One is up. Everyone middle. Go, go, go. Nice. Four is spawning soon. Four is dead. Uh, take out the middle knight and then come to the s back. Everyone to the back then. Nice. Everyone to the back. Look at Oryx. Shoot adds. Kill all the adds. Don't go anywhere yet. So, Toby, you're going to be on the front left orb. Front right orbs, sorry. Front right. Everyone go to your orbs. Don't get in yet. So, Toby, go near them. Don't get in yet. Three, two, one. Everyone walk in and just do a little shuffle in the big black balls. R-Dub, Bam, Tiny back, and Caitlyn back. Yep. Yeah, because we had to do it for three times, because you had, um, there was one missing on that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Everyone just shoot Oryx when he opens up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's challenge mode. <laughs> 